All right, everybody, in this video, I am freeze drying some beef chunks. So me and the wife got some scrap beef chunks and um, cut a lot of fat off. I left some fat on there, which will come, it'll render off during the cooking process. Uh, I'm just gonna season with salt and pepper. So it's either can be eaten just like it is, or it can be used for, I don't know, street tacos or, um, shredded beef barbecue sandwiches anything like that so i'm leaving the seasoning aspect open for future uses after it's freeze dried but that's what i'm going to do with this i'm going to freeze dry it or so once it gets cooked um going to put it in the instant pot for about an hour let it pressure cook that way and then we're going to turn the pressure part off turn it on to slow cook let it slow cook for about seven hours bring it out let it cool off put it on the freezer uh, freeze dryer trays stick it in the freezer overnight and then we'll freeze dry it. All right, so I will bring you back when this is cooked. All right, everybody, the beef is done. Had it in the Instapot. Uh, let's see, maybe close to five, six hours, okay? So what I did is I pulled it out of the Instapot. It was still kind of hot and I've um, stuck it on my freeze dryer trays with big towels just to catch up any to catch up catch any extra you know uh, moisture that's coming off of them. So as you see, it, it's super tender, falls apart, tastes really good. This is going to be good for food storage. Just put in uh, like beef and noodles, or soup, or whatever. So I'm breaking this up. And something else is the paper towels also in the freeze drying process will help absorb extra fat that might be left behind. Uh, I don't think I said what kind of beef this was. It's beef trimmings off of brisket. So and this process will work with any meat. You know, so you can obviously take it and Cook it down and then freeze dry it. Hi, kitty. Go away. Um, so, we just had a windfall of some extra beef, and that's what we're going to go with. So, close up to the cats, maybe they'll be quiet. So, there we go. I will get this in the freezer and then put it in the freeze dryer, and then I will bring you back when it is all said and done. Everybody, the beef is done. Looks, uh, it feels really dry, so that's good. Uh, I was, per I was, of course, worried about some fat residue that was left over from when I cooked it in the crock pot, but I'm not filling it. So it usually has like a, like a waxy filling to it. But as you can see, we've got a really good piece I can bring up here. So you can nice and dry. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a nice chunk in there. I didn't break it up or anything. I am going to do a little short reconstitution video just so we can see what it looks like. So, a little bit of boiling water. Oh wow, almost instantaneously. So of course I wouldn't use that much boiling water for every little piece of meat, but... I wasn't about to reach in there because it's hot water, like boiling hot. But look at that, it tears apart just like beef. That's awesome. So this is going to go in for uh, 
maybe food storage for like 10 years I'm thinking just because I don't want to risk anything with the fat I might be wrong it might last longer uh, I'll wait 10 years to see but uh there we go definitely have to get some more of this and do some more all right everybody thanks for watching and stay safe